All right, so in this video, we're going to be continuing on with the stack data structure. And what we're going to be solving in this video is reversing a string using the stack. Now, basically, just to be a little bit more concrete on what we're trying to do, if we have, let's say, an input string, which we define as this, let's say hello, then what we want to do is we want to make use of the stack data structure to turn hello into this. So this is what the output of the um, result of reversing the string, of course, should be. And we're going to use a stack to do this. Now, the only time usually when you would have to use a stack to solve this problem is most likely in some sort of contrived setting, like an interview or something like that. So just to, if you're not already aware, in Python, if you just want to reverse a string, um, surely don't invoke a stack to do so. If you don't need to, um, you can just do that using the one-liner here. So if you just say print input string and then colon colon minus one, this basically just reverses the string. So if we go ahead and run this, we'll see uh, the hello is reversed into what it should be. So of course, that's not using a stack. And if you're asked in an interview to reverse a string using the stack and you give that, um, well, you might not get a callback. So let's actually use the stack data structure to solve this problem, and then we'll take it from there. So let's create a function let's create a function which will call reverse string and it will take in a input string and actually what we'll also do is we'll also pass in a stack object as well so this will be our function and what we're gonna do is we're going to solve it using the stack in the following way so we're just really going to use push pop and then the is empty function so the idea is to push the characters of the string one by one onto the stack. So essentially what we'd have is we're going to loop through the string, in this case, hello, and we're going to push character by character onto the stack, the characters. So as we loop through, we start at H, we push that onto the stack, that's what we get there, so that's the bottom of our stack. We continue on in our loop, the next character that we encounter is E, we push that on top of the stack, that's what we have there. We keep going and we're gonna have a stack that looks like this. So generally, the bottom of the stack is where this capital H is, and the top of the stack is where O is. So this is where we basically say, until the stack is empty, start popping off everything. So pop off all of the contents of the stack until we have an empty stack. So this is the top of the stack. We pop it off, and then we basically just take this character and add it to a string. We are back on the stack. Now the top element is this L. We pop it off and we append it onto our string that we're creating. Again, we take the next one down here. So we take that guy, move it over there, take this guy here, move him over there, and then we finally take this H, and then we pop that off the stack and put that on the string. And at the end of it, that stack is now empty and we have our reversed string. So that's the general idea of what we're going to do uh, in, this, in this video. So it's quite um, straightforward, I think, to accomplish. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to loop through the string and push contents character by character onto stack. So basically we just say for, let's say i in range of length of the input string. And then what we do here is we push on uh, the characters. So we'll say input str of i, and what we'll do is we'll say stack.push this thing onto the stack. So we passed in the stack object and we're just pushing the, the uh, character by character onto that stack. Then what we do is we'll have this stack and essentially we say while the stack is an empty, so while not uh, while not stack dot is empty, we will pop the characters off one by one. So we'll have before this while loop, let's actually create a string variable called rev string, which we'll just initially create to be an empty string. And then we'll continually append onto this thing as we pop off the contents of the stack. So we'll say rev str plus equals, so we'll append character by character. We'll say stack dot pop, and then we'll essentially return rev string. So with any luck, some extra space here, let's get rid of that. Let's go ahead and uh, create a stack object here. So we'll say stack is equal to stack. 
we have our input string and then let's go ahead and call this function. So let's say reverse string, pass in the stack and pass in the input string. And we'll also need to print this out. So let's go ahead and do that. And let's give it a run. So we have here that uh, it looks like hello is reversed. So that pretty much does it for this video. Thanks again for watching. As always, the likes, comments, subscriptions are always very much appreciated. Please don't hesitate to comment below if there's any questions, concerns, or anything like that. Thanks again for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.